everyone! In today's video, I will give you 5 tips to simplify your life in order to make time for everything you want. There's actually a part 1 to this video, so if you haven't checked it out already, you have all the information in the description box below. My first major tip is to go paperless. This is something that I've struggled with for years and I feel like I'm slowly making progress into a paperless lifestyle. I'm currently only using my bullet journal, but all the other things in my life related to school and work are being handled digitally. The biggest step I made was investing in an iPad. That drastically reduced the amount of paper I was printing and also the amount of paper I was using for handwritten notes. I like the feel of handwriting and using the Apple Pencil on my iPad allowed me to mimic that action while also staying digital. Regarding reading, I was also able to quit printing hundreds of pages for my classes and I even enjoy the experience more on a device that allows me to pinch to zoom in, scribble notes on the sides of the page and highlight as much as I want. I cannot tell you how much a progressively paperless lifestyle has been improving my life, my decision fatigue and my overall organization so far. Tied to the first tip is to really get to synchronization and cloud services in your digital life. Once again, this makes everything easier. All of your files are in one place in all their respective folders and you are never worried about not finding something or forgetting your USB flash drive at home. Being able to then access those files everywhere, being in multiple devices or even in someone else's computer is a plus. I'm currently paying 99 cents for 50 gigs on the iCloud drive and that's more than enough for my storage needs and it makes a big difference in how I'm currently handling my work. Also, all the letters, bills and most important documents I have printed are scanned and organized in digital folders so I have access to everything I need all the time. The third tip is to have one main calendar or planner and rely on that. Multiple calendars and planners are for people who have very, very busy lifestyles but also have the discipline to organize all of those planners and keeping on track with each of them all the time. The thing is, most of us lack that discipline, the time or even the need to handle multiple planners. So for simplicity's sake, it's better to choose one once and for all. Yes, it's hard to find planner peace, and I find myself always indecisive between a bullet journal and a ring-bound planner. But just try to find one system that works for you and try to stick with it. If you have to experiment, be free to do so and switch things around, but try to stay away from the multiple planners trap. Also, discard all the crap you don't need from your life. And this applies to everything. One of the things I've done recently was clearing all of my email subscriptions. I found out I had more than a hundred email subscriptions that I was marking as red in my email clients because I never felt the need to read them. The same applies to tens of unused apps, phone numbers of people I don't really want to talk with or need to, people and businesses I was following and were not improving my life in one bit, social media that was harming my productivity levels and so on. It's like a social detoxification and I guarantee it will improve your lifestyle drastically. My last tip is to learn how to multitask effectively. I largely do not believe in multitasking because I feel that one can never really focus on two tasks at a time and still do a good job. But on the other hand, there are tasks that really don't need that much of a focus. For instance, listening to a podcast while you are on the treadmill is good multitasking because you are not jeopardizing your workout by hearing something. The same applies to stretching while you watch a TV show, listening to an audiobook while you cook or you clean the house, and so on. Try to think of the things that you do on a routine and do not need your mental focus and try to combine different activities to get more time out of your day and do the things you want. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!